Yeah, so my name is Mitchell. I uh, grew up just uh, over yonder on Riverside Drive, lived in the constituency for 21 years. I went to elementary, middle, and high school in the constituency. Um, so uh, I just want to pick up on your remarks about cynicism. Um, I agree that you're not a cynical person. I don't think that people themselves can be cynical, but I do think that there are, are cynical actions that can be taken. Um, I find there were a few, uh, and I think there have been some cynical, um, not to not to like use particularly accusatory language, but I think there have been some cynical actions taken by this government, unfortunately. Um, I think um, the, the continual you know, invocation of sustainable development and responsible environmental stewardship coupled with the willingness to approve uh, large resource projects um, is in a sense fairly cynical, but I also find um, things like uh, this, 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 uh, this globalist um, ideal that is represented by folks uh, like Mr. Trudeau, especially on the world stage, but then um, at the same time uh, uh, not um, not strengthening our commitment to be a, a global leader on climate change. I think if we want to be um, this, this global example and this global role model, we have to be so in every sense of the word, not just on uh, strengthening our immigration policy, which I am, I will give the Liberal government some kudos for that. That's a really great move. But I think we need to be a global leader in every sense of the word if we want to be a global leader in any sense of the word. Um, the last point I wanted to talk about in terms of cynicism is this continual invocation invocation with the Liberal government of, of respect for Indigenous peoples and reconciliation, but at the same time, um, I'm, I'm wondering what happened to the, the, the election promise of the full implementation of the TRC calls to action, which includes full implementation of the United Nations Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous People, which itself includes free prior informed consent on all resource projects that cross Indigenous land. Um, I know uh, one of the ministers said it didn't. It, there was some conflict with the judicial framework, Canada's judicial framework, but I don't really don't see how, when something like the TRC calls to action, have, as far as I understand it, really been woven into the fabric of this government, or really a core part of its identity in the election and in the period thereafter. How we can turn around and use some conflicts with uh, maybe the judicial system to ignore all of our, or, or many more of our commitments within the TRC calls to action that don't fall under the scope of that. I'm one, so I'm wondering specifically what happened to the commitment to free prior and informed consent, and if that is still a principle that is truly valued by this government. The Prime Minister, uh, very quickly, uh, within hours, of the release of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, uh, committed the Government of Canada would immediately begin on the implementation of all 94 recommendations. But you know that this doesn't happen with many. That these are uh, important issues that have eluded Canadian governments for 150 years. We have to be judged by our actions. We have to be judged by real accommodation with indigenous peoples. We have to be judged by the improvement in water systems, in education systems. We have to be judged by what we as a nation are able to accomplish in partnership with indigenous peoples and First Nations in Canada. So I am absolutely convinced that the goodwill that the Prime Minister has brought to this spot the work that all of his ministers, from Minister Bennett to Minister McKenna, Garno, Sohi, Leblanc, myself, working every day in deepening and having better appreciation for Indigenous values, which, by the way, will be embedded in the very principles that govern the National Energy Board, because we are in the process of modernizing the National Energy Board. If you are frustrated that all 94 of those recommendations have not yet been implemented in the first year of the national government, I'm sorry. We are going at a pace that we think gives real meaning to the promises that have been made. And I can tell you in terms of my own work, in my own portfolio, that we are absolutely committed to a nation-to-nation -nation relationship and to combination of indigenous peoples.